Hey friends, welcome to this video. This week we're going to be learning how to read the notes for the violin and where they go. So um, first of all, what we have right here down here, these are the open strings. So your open string looks like this. This is your lowest string. This is G. The next string over you have is D. It looks like this. The next string over that you have is A. Looks like this. It's a space note, what we call a space note. It's on the second space from the bottom. And then you have E, which is on the very top space. All right, so for example, oh, where's the violin? <laughs> this is our lowest string. This is the G string. That's your bottom note right down here. It's your bottom space note. It's two ledger lines down. It's a space note, two ledger lines down. Right? That is your bottom string on the violin. The next string over we have looks like this. This is D. It's a space note. It's below the staff. It's just right one below the staff. It's the next string over. It's your second string over. The next string we have is the A string. Second space note from the bottom. Right, looks like this, or it sounds like this. It's your third string over. And then you have the very highest string, which is your open E string. E looks like this. Open E always looks like this. Okay, and it's all the way here. It's your thinnest one. All right, so we have G, G, D, A, and E. Now, once I start putting my fingers down, each finger is its own note. It's a new note. Every finger is its own note. So let's say I'm on the G string and I put my first finger down. It's going to be the note A. It could be an A flat or an A natural, depending on where I put my first finger. Second finger can be the note B, can be a B flat or a B natural, depending on where I put it. Third finger is going to be, here's my open, here's first finger, second finger, third finger is right here. It's actually right before open D. So it'd be the note C, G, A, B, C. It could be a C or a C sharp, depending where I put it though. And then if I use my fourth finger, it could be the note D. It could be a D sharp or D flat, depending where I put it. Um, and fourth finger D looks the same as my open string D. They're the exact same notes, just there's there's actually two different ways you can play it. You can use your fourth finger, or you can use your open string. They're the same pitch. Oops, if it's in tune. <laughs> okay, so same thing. If I'm on the D string, I have my open string, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, or my open string, my next open string. So I could have D, E, F sharp, G, a, and this is the same as my open A. Okay, so I hope that kind of makes sense. That's just a little intro. You can continue onwards up the strings, right? Here's the A string. This would be your open A or fourth finger on the D string. So if it's open A, this would be first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. It could be my open E, open E, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Each finger is its own note. So let's say that I'm reading this F right up here. I know that this F here is not this F because this one is all the way up here. This has to be on the E string. It's gonna be in this range. So it's gonna be on the E string. This F would be on the D string. It's on the D string range. Once I cross over into orange here, I'm gonna be on the A string. Once I cross over into pink here, I'm gonna be on the E string, if we're in first position at least, right? If I'm on the G string here, let's say that I wanna play this A here. This A I know is on the G string. It's my first finger on the G string. It's not gonna be my open A because my open A string looks like this. This A is very close to my open G, so this would just be my first finger. It's the next possible note up. So it's gonna be my next possible finger up, which would be my first finger. All right, so just a first little intro to reading the notes and seeing where they go. The best tip is to remember what your open strings look like. 
your open strings and the range. If you can kind of see this range here, that everything that's in um, orange here, this is A, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, or if I cross over to my E string, now I'm on the E string. So just kind of t remember where the open strings are and then remember what the range is that you're in, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you want to know more details about you know, where your fingers go and how the notes relate to each other, you might want to watch the video before this. Um, and I also do have a Patreon for those of you that are teacherless and need help or just have a teacher but you need still extra help during the week. Um, it is patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. It's one dollar to subscribe and you can cancel anytime. It's there for you to help you along your musical journey. You can also reach out to me on my website, Violin Viola Masterclass. That's my website. You can contact me for lessons or find out more about me as a teacher, what I do. And um, you can also follow me on Instagram, which is also Violin Viola Masterclass. I'd love for you to stay in contact and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.